Today we're gonna paint this bird. Enjoying art is an artist community. I would like to welcome you to join us today. Now I'm gonna show you how to paint this painting step by step. Take a look at the composition. The main object, I want to include the complete wing and the, at the front. So I'm gonna do this. This would be the bird. Like that, the mouth over here, a leg coming up like that. That's good. Oh, you see another leg over here. And then the tail. I'm going to just use lifting to create that wing. But the bird and this wing on the front, we need to mask it to make it a little bit more clear. Now I'm going to get my masking fluid. And then use the soap bar. Make sure that enough soap and it's very easy to clean it. Now we're gonna start head of the bird. Okay. Just put it down. Okay, now do the tail. Put it down and drag it and join this part. That's good and take a look at here and push it down and drag it in here. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my brush. You can see how easy the brush already clean. The masking foot is ready and we're gonna start painting in the background. So I'm thinking about what color it should be. Let's start with the color in the reference. I'm going to take a look at get the red. And I'm going to have a little bit red shade blue color. Let's see how this look. Okay, I'm going to start from this corner. Let's see how it look. Make sure you get enough water. Oh, it's not going to. Oh, that's. Lots of blue color over here. Ooh, that's is good. I'm gonna try it to coming from this angle, from this corner. Let's see how it look. Here you go. You welcome any accident, and it may be good for us. Okay. That's good. Looks like the masking is pretty good. And I'm going to get a little bit more red. Get some. As it's wet into wet, I get some interesting look. I'm going to have a little bit red on this side. Like that. And on this side. Probably good enough. I'm gonna have some blue color, maybe on this side coming down. And how about we're gonna add a little yellow color somehow? Okay, I'm gonna take some yellow color. How about some yellow color like this? And a little bit yellow color on this side too. Let's see. I think it could be pretty interesting. I'm gonna have a little bit red color at that star over here coming down. I think the color put it uh, interesting. Now what I want to do, I'm going to lift up most of the wet from my fly brush. I'm going to start lifting up some of the area that have been blocked from the for, for the paint in order to coming all the way to the bottom because of the blocking on the top over there. Now I'm going to 
lift up walls or the pin at the bottom accumulate okay now I'm gonna just take a little water just drop it in drop it in a little bit Now it's already dry enough for me to start lifting this wing. It's very soft, so I'm going to just use the brush to start doing the lifting. But don't bring too much water into the paper because it would create too much texture around. Okay. The reason I use the lifting for this. I just want to have a softer contrast. Now I'm going to let it dry. So it's just going to get a little blue gray color. I start from a little bit lighter. Here we go. I'm going to put that over here and put that over here. You see that? The feather. And put that over here. Like that. Here we go. That's very good. And a little bit over here as well. And a little bit on this side. A little bit like that. That's good. Now I'm going to come in to use the water to soften this very good. Like that. Make a little bit softer. A little bit softer over here. Now you can take a look at is there enough contrast? If not, you're going to add some even darker color to it. Like that, that's good. When I have a little bit softer outside over here, like that. Now you can see this wing is very, very uh, soft overall. Okay, and the edge is very soft. And I'm probably going to add a little bit darker. So let's get a little bit darker over here, at the corner over here. That's good. Like that. I'm afraid that it's going to be too much. Okay, a little bit over here, like that as well. Okay, that's good. I think this very well. I'm going to just use a little bit color and connect that outside over here. And that's probably good enough for this wing. And now I'm going to let it dry. Before we remove the masking fluid, making sure the whole paper all dry. Now it's already dry. This is great. Oh, now we're going to start lifting. Now start from the head of the book. Very good. I'm going to start to see if I can just holding it and if we can have it continue. That's good. It's very strong. That's just good. Now you can see using the a good brush, it actually helps you to give you a lot more better control. Okay. Good. Now the whole boat is already clear. Now I'm also going to continue clean up. Those fruit here.
and that will be the last piece. The masking really help to make the painting more relaxing and simple. Now we're going to start painting into the bird first and start from the top left corner. Okay. Now it looks like mostly is the winter blue red shade color. I'm going to take this color. Start from over here. And here we go. Maybe a little bit lighter. Don't want to be darker than the background. Make it a little bit lighter. Like that. That's good. I'm going to have... Here you go. That's good. Leave a little gap. Make it look like a little white. Okay, here you go. Continue. Start from a little gray over here. Look at it, get a little bit yellow, a little bit more like a brown. There we go. I'm gonna put that color in here. That's good. I'm gonna have a little bit. More warmer brown color. Here you go. Get the blue and get some yellow. If you can mix a brown color, I think you can mix it in the color. That's good. Right here. And put that soft color here. And here you go. Take a look at what's the light shape. Start over here. This is all the brown color on this side. There's the whole area. I need a little bit more red. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna have a little bit red. There you go, like that. And coming on the side. There we go. I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow. Mixed into here. If you want it to be darker, you need to have a little bit blue. Okay. That's very good. And a little bit brown color right here too. Here we go. That's nice. And then star having a little bit soft color and a little gray, soft a little color over here. Now connect this. This is the in the shadow. Just a little bit kind of dry brush. We use the dry brush technique a lot with this calligraphy brush. Okay, a little bit like that. That's good. Some very thin line. This brush can provide very thin, very thin line. So you can see the little nice details. We need to have a little bit gray color. So I'm gonna take a little blue. That will be become a little gray, right? Very simple. Still keep a little light. Like a look at the backlight, right? So that's good. Take a look. Leave some light shape. Okay, here you go. Little light shape on the other side. That's good. Okay, a little light shape over here, like that. And also a little light shape over here. That's good. Like that. I'm going to have a little bit darker color on the back over here. Let's get a little red color with the blue. Here we go. I'm going to have this a little bit darker. 
uh, analyze a little bit more, think a little bit more, and I have this color from dark to come to a little light for the nose. Okay. And now I'm going to add a little darker color on the feet. Okay, like that. Leave the narrow white shape. That's good. Look, analyze it, and decide what you want to do. Right, that's pretty good already. Maybe over here, I'm going to start at the darker color. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to come over here to get some detail. Take okay, a look at that. This one. Very nice. Some nice texture. You see that how you can relax and it looks like this can a little bit away. Okay, that's good. Like that, a little dry brush here. Just a little texture. Very nice. And then under the arm, there's some darker color as well. That's good. I make sure I have the eye painting around the eye. And the eye looks like it could be a little bit higher, so a little bit higher. I'm going to draw the circle of the eye. You see that? If you don't have it, this calligraphy brush. Take a look at the link and get your own. While still, we have some in stock for you. Okay, and then I might want to make this a little bit more clear than what the reference look like. Okay, now I'm gonna paint it around over here. Okay, that's good. Okay. Now I'm gonna take a look over here. Coming a little bit lower, like that. That's good. Now on the other side, painting around the area of the eye. I can make the line even thinner. That's good. Now coming to the back over here. Now successful. Now inside the eye, I'm going to make a little transition over there. Before I go ahead to do that, I'm going to also add the dark color over here. Here we go. Yeah, take a look. Take a look at where's this shape. Like that. That's good. It's good. And have a few small line. And the top over here have a little bit dark color. There's the shape coming over. And at the top, I have some dry brush to create that feeling of the light, the highlight on the top. Very nice. Okay. Here, we're going to have the brown color coming in a little bit here. Also, we do some of the thin line to show the feather. That's good. A little bit soft edge. That's good. Now, the legs are already there. So we're just going to have a little bit brown color. Do it one more time. Over here. Here we go. A little bit more brown. Like that. Here we go, and I'm going to take a look at this line, start from here. And over there, practice a little bit. Like that, that's good. And the next one, right over there. 
Look at that line. It's very beautiful. Okay, the next one. Over here. Like that. And over here. That line a little bit thinner. That's good. Right. Very cool. And on those lines, it's only start from here. That. And over here. Start over here. Here we go. When you draw the line, you might want to try to hold your breath. So you can one line to finish it. If you breathe in the middle, it may cause you to stop. Like what I'm doing now is try to speak and think and paint. Okay, right here. That's one line. Hold your breath. That's good. One line over here. Take a look. And then the wing looks very nice. And I'm going to add a little bit the winter blue red shade. Give it a little bit more clear. A little bit more clear shape over here. Like that. And down over here, a little bit darker. And now in my attention, switch to those fruit. I'm going to take the very bright yellow and add a little bit bright red. Here you go. And I'm going to start with this yellow orange color first. Now I'm going to start from this one. That's good, like that. I'm going to add a little bit darker orange color, a brown color a little bit later. And here you go, like that. If you do it fast enough, it will remain wet a little bit longer. Okay. Here you go. This one, I'm gonna have a little bit more red. I'm gonna take a little bit more red. Here you go, right there. Okay, a little bit clean water. Okay, here we go. Alright, now I'm gonna come back over here. Have a little bit more red color. I try to have a little bit more translucent color. Okay, in the, in the middle over here. Here you go. You just wait into wet. Let it merge together. It will look much brighter. That's a little bit orange color. I'm gonna add a little bit darker color on one side. Let it merge together. Okay, that's good. So far, at the top over here. A little bit darker color. I have a little bit orange color here too. Oh, that's good. And here, coming down. Yeah, still leave a little bit shape light. I'm gonna have a little bit red color right in this spot. I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter. Now the paintings finish.